Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday morning market webcast. Okay, yesterday we talked about the nine day. Nine days settling in here. I'll call it 79.80. Uh, the low from Globex uh, last night, 27.80 half. So look, the last few days, Friday, or I'm sorry, Monday, 28.14, rejected a little bit. Yesterday, 03 half, rejected a little bit. But what I said a couple of days ago, I'm going to say it now. You know, support at the nine day, support at the nine day. If we're going to come down and deal with the nine day, so basically deal with 80, needs to convert 80, needs to convert 80 to resistance. Once the nine day gets converted, in the process, by default, you will have also converted the weekly pivot at 85, 83. You do both of those things, and then you start to say, okay, well, maybe it's time to retrace it back to the green line here, which is your daily mid band, which is the logical place for this thing to pull back to kind of revert to the mean a little bit and figure out if the tape wants to be buy dips or sell rallies. So yesterday, solid little day for us, spent most of it long. I didn't catch the short off of 03 half. It was pretty late in the day. I knew I wasn't going to be around last night, so I just kind of let that go. We took some profits up top. So it was a 19 handle day. Uh, so we're working on a 30, a little over 30 handle week and we got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to go. So over our 20 handle uh, goal that we try to set for the room every week. So it's been solid. Um, anytime I know that on Wednesday we could all take a nap and come back Monday and know that we've completely you know, met and exceeded our, uh, our goal, it's a good thing. Now, hourly chart. We're compressing here and we're battling a little bit over the weekly pivot. That could continue all day. Let me say it again. That could continue all day. Um, I'm expecting a whippy, choppy, two-sided open. And that whippy, choppy, two-sided open, depending on how tight the range wants to be, it may be a, a whippy, choppy, meat grinder of a thing this morning that we all need to just basically stay away from until the old weekly pivot here decides what does it want to be. Does it want to be support or does it want to be resistance? So you got the hourly mid band up here at 89 kind of helping out as far as, you know, you take out both of these lines, you're going to go back over to something with a 2800. But let's not kid ourselves. The bulls don't look real good above 2800. They haven't all week long. Even in doing this, they kind of wheeze their way up to here and then they gave it up pretty quick. This is not a good look at all. That is called basically matching highs, okay? One tick higher high that fails comes back to test the hourly mid band and daily pivot as resistance and holds and then makes a lower low. Look, the bears have a chance today. I don't say that very often in uptrends like this, but the bears have a chance today, both short term and intermediate term to get something done. But look, the weekly pivot here is gonna have to, to, to you know, it's gonna have to reveal itself and the process of it revealing itself tends to be tends to be pretty whippy and choppy. And if that's the case, then you know, we've got to be patient this morning. All right, everybody have a good one. Uh, I'm out uh, live on Instagram, 920. The numbers for that continue to, to rise every morning. It's a, it's a great five, six, seven minutes. I do the ES, Tony Rago comes on most days and talks about the NQ. So if you're an NQ trader, come on in. And uh, we set up the open and uh, we've had a lot of interest from people out there coming in, checking out the room. We hope that the people that have done that, we hope you like what you found. Um, we started uh, to add, in addition to our live screen share and audio, in addition to our chat room and our after hours alerts, we're now also for subscribers, we're just we're, we're putting out what we're doing during the day. So just to clarify, it's not some shadow trading thing. I don't do that, that that's, that's, that's idiotic. Um, I don't think any of that works. So it's not, you know, I'm not, I'm not creating an army of button pushers. That's not why, why I do this. I do this because I love to teach. I do this because um, we just have so much fun teaching people how to do this stuff. What this is, the daytime alerts, it's if you're out and about, it's a supplement to what we already do to let you know what the room is doing and what the risk area is at any point in time during the day. I have a lot of people that do this as their side hustle and they have regular jobs and they love it. So this is me putting them in a position and maybe you as well out there in a position where you can follow things along during the day without having to be glued to a go-to webinar screen. All right, trade them well, take care, join us at 920. We'll be more on social during the day. Talk to you then, trade them well. 
Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.